Hello, my lovely Leo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, for any of you lovely folks dealing with a Leo romantically. This is a timeless reading today, Leo. Whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. But I do like to remind you that it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate, and you are more than welcome to take what works, my loves, and just leave the rest. Now, before we get to it, I do want to remind you that I have my Etsy shop up and running. So if you would like to purchase a tarot card reading from me, definitely feel free to head on over to Etsy and see everything that I've got available. We are heading into the new year very, very quickly. So just a couple more weeks of 2023, and then we are on to 2024. So I always feel like the new year is a great time to do a tarot reading, do a bit of a check-in around love. So if you would like to see what I've got over on Etsy, feel free to do so. But of course, please do continue to enjoy my readings here on YouTube as well. All right, my loves. So we're going to jump into it today. We are looking at love. So I'm going to start with some overall energy about what is coming toward you in love right now. And then we are going to clarify the messages and dig into it. What is coming toward Leo right now in love? What is coming toward Leo in love? Beautiful. <laughs> We are going to take that, Leo. The first card coming out for your reading today is the lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini romantically, but let's just say here, Leo, that what's coming toward you in love right now is somebody who loves you very much. They choose you, they want to be with you, and they're excited about this connection. This could be new love, or this could be who you're currently involved with. What else is coming toward Leo right now? Ace of Swords. I love it. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Aces represent new beginnings. So there is a brand new beginning related to love that's coming toward you right now. This is obviously incredibly positive if you are a single Leo and you are looking for love. And I feel like if you're in a relationship, there's some sort of brand new experience that the two of you are having together, or even some sort of breakthrough moment in your relationship that allows you to take the next step. It's incredibly positive. And I feel like there's a lot of really strong communication energy surrounding you right now. Somebody could be revealing their feelings for you. Let's get one more, uh, one more card about what is coming toward Leo right now. We're going to take it. We're going to take it, my loves. Beautiful. This energy is gorgeous. So what is coming toward you, the Queen of Cups? Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, loving energy, somebody who has their heart open, somebody who's so excited about you, somebody who just wants to tell you all about how they feel. This person has an incredible amount of love for you, Leo, and they're just here opening up their heart to you and giving you everything that you desire when it comes to love. So the overall energy today to start us out in terms of what is coming toward you is gorgeous. I think you should feel very excited here, Leo, about the romantic possibility that is manifesting for you at this point, okay? So I wanna run with this energy. What I'm gonna do for the rest of the reading, I wanna look at this person. So like I said, this could be your current partner or who's coming towards you. We're gonna look at their overall energy, what they're feeling, what actions they're taking toward you. And then we're gonna look at the same thing for you and then we'll look at the potential outcome. So we're gonna cover a whole bunch of stuff today. So let's dig into it. Let's get some overall energy for this person that Leo is dealing with right now. Let's get some overall energy. What have we got here? Five of cups. Okay. So here's the thing with your person. It is possible that they have recently gone through some sort of disappointment within their life. It could also be that they are like, they're so into you, Leo, that they don't want to disappoint you or let you down. I do feel this sense of them maybe putting you on a little bit of a pedestal here because they love you, they want to be with you, they choose you, and they're like, I want to keep giving to this relationship because I never want to let Leo down. Tell me more about this person's overall energy, please. Tell me more about their overall energy. Four of Wands. Okay. I'm not surprised to see this. It's the 1111 card. You can put 1111 in the comments below if you claim this reading, but they want marriage. They want commitment. They want to do everything that they can to prove their loyalty and devotion to you, and it feels really good. There could even be some sort of celebration related to your love life. You could be getting engaged. Maybe you're going to have a Christmas engagement or a New Year engagement. All that stuff is coming up, right, for those of you who are in a relationship. But if this is new love, it's definitely the energy of somebody who's looking for marriage, looking for commitment. And I feel like this is something to really celebrate between the two of you. 
Tell me more about this person, please. Tell me more. <laughs> and then the tower. Okay. I feel like this person has a lot of stuff going on right now in their life. I'm also going to say here, Leo, I wonder for some of you, like if, if you're not already with this person and this is somebody new who you're connecting with, they may have recently gone through a tower moment. They could be dealing with some sort of shakeup related to a past relationship. It could be related to a separation or divorce where they're still dealing with the after effects or the aftermath of that breakup. So they could have some stuff going on. Um, yeah, I've kind of been picking up on this energy a little bit for um, your person, like your person, like whoever you're with or whoever's coming towards you. It kind of feels like this month, Leos are like very confident and strong. And then the person who they're dealing with is just kind of got some personal stuff and issues that they're working through. So it's a little bit of um, interesting energy here, but I do see that your person is potentially going through some sort of shakeup. It could be that they're dealing with like custody issues with an ex or some sort of, you know, issue related to a past relationship I don't feel like this is um about them like wanting to get back with an ex or anything like that it feels more like challenging energy related to a past relationship like I said maybe figuring out custody separating assets going through with the divorce so there could be some energy coming through there I actually want to clarify what this tower is for your person three of cups okay so I also feel like there's some third party interference coming in. I mean, maybe this person ended a relationship with somebody who was cheating on them. Could be that. Uh, tell me more, please, about this tower, the eight of swords. Whatever is going on here for your person, they are definitely freeing themselves from some sort of third party situation that has felt restrictive. Tell me more, please tell me more. And then we've got the nine of cups. They just want to be happy. They just want to go after what's going to make them happy. And I do think for some of you, it is possible that this person is recently coming off of some sort of confusing, love triangle, messy drama situation. And I feel like what's happening now is they're looking for true love. They're looking for the real deal. And I feel like they're pulling their energy back from any sort of negative romantic situations that have not been working for them. And they're committing to finding love. So it is possible that this person has fairly recently disconnected from a romantic situation that has been challenging. But essentially what is it is doing is it's allowing them to open up and be available to the connection with you. Okay, let's see what they're feeling. Let's see what this person is feeling. Two of Pentacles, okay. They're kind of, you know, juggling their feelings about some sort of situation here. Tell me more about what this person is feeling. Six of Wands, but they just want to move forward, okay? Tell me more, tell me more, please. And then the Hermit, yeah. They're going through some stuff. They're definitely going through some stuff. Um, it could be related to work with that six of wands for some of you um, or some of them. I'm just, I'm like, what is this? I want to clarify the five of cups, you guys. Tell me what this five of cups is, please. Tell me what this five of cups is. Ten of cups. Yeah. Okay. I feel like this person went through a separation or divorce or a nasty breakup. That's what I think it is. And now they're working to establish their um, footing again when it comes to love They've connected with you. They have feelings for you. They've had a breakthrough moment about what they want when it comes to love. But I do think that they are um, still extracting themselves from a potentially messy situation with an ex. Okay. I don't feel like it's like they want to get back with the ex. It's more like a heaviness and annoying energy that they just have to deal with as they move forward. What actions are they taking? What actions are this person taking? The moon. Okay. I think they're going to be revealing something to you, Leo. Tell me more. Tell me more, please. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be some sort of um, some secret, something that's been hidden that they're going to reveal to you. Let's see what else. And then the Five of Wands, okay? Yeah, it's almost like they want to prove to you, Leo, that they can be your rock and that they can provide the stability that you want within a relationship, okay? I do think they want to prove that to you. And I do think they want to show you with that five of wands that you're, they're fighting for your relationship. But they do also have something big going on with that tower energy that's really shaking up their life right now. And so they're wanting to show you, look, you know, I'm still here. I'm still fighting for us. Yes, I've got this other stuff going on, but I am here showing up for you. Okay, 
So I see that here within the energy, but it could be that they are going to really um, reveal something here because I think there's something that's been hidden. They're going to tell you about it. What is this moon? What is this moon energy, please? What is this? The devil. It's something toxic they're going to reveal. Oh my, this is getting interesting, you guys. It's like you have this brand new beginning in love, but now it's getting a bit complicated. Tell me more about this moon. Two of swords. Tell me more about this moon. Tell me more about this moon. The death card. Okay, they're ending something toxic. Here's the thing. I think they've been dealing with something toxic behind the scenes here, Leo. Okay, they've been trying to put an end to it. And it's been a little bit tough. The two of swords represents reaching some sort of impasse or some sort of stalemate. So let's say that this is a situation with an ex. Maybe they went through a divorce and or a separation and they're trying to figure out custody issues or they're trying to separate, like sell a house or something. I don't know, something related to assets. And they've been dealing with it behind the scenes, but I feel like whatever they're dealing with, it hasn't really been moving quickly with that two of swords energy. It could be that things have been a little bit stalled and they haven't been moving forward. And so maybe this person didn't really want to talk about what this issue was because they were trying to handle it. But I do think there has been some sort of, it feels a little bit like a setback. And so they're still dealing with this issue because it's not moving quickly. And it could even be like whoever they're dealing with, like let's say it's an ex who they're involved with. Maybe the ex is kind of, um, not being cooperative or kind of blocking the situation from moving forward potentially. So I do think that your person could be coming clean about something and being like, look, I've been dealing with this thing. I didn't really want to get into it, but it's a little bit stalled right now. And so I just wanted you to make aware, you make you aware of what's going on. I do think it's good though, in the sense that we have the death card, because to me, this is positive and it indicates that whatever situation they're dealing with, whatever tower moment happened for them, I do think that they are going to be wrapping that up soon, but whatever this issue is for them, I don't think it's been like a quick thing to solve and it's taken their time and it's taken their attention potentially away from your connection. And it, there have been moments where it's been kind of stalled and things have not moved forward. But finally, I think they're starting to see some progress. And I wonder, as I'm saying that Leo, I'm kind of intuitively feeling like whatever this is for some of you is kind of blocking you and this person from moving forward in your relationship, right? Like, let's say that this is related to your person's ex. And maybe let's say that you and this person want to get married, but you can't do it because your person's ex hasn't signed off on the divorce papers, for example, right? I know it's very specific, you guys, but that's what I'm picking up on here for some of you. It's like, Maybe you're wanting to take the next step with this person, but they've got something here related to a past relationship that is somehow blocking the two of you from being able to take the next step within your connection, and that feels frustrating. But I do see that the situation is slowly but surely moving forward, but I do not think it's moving as quickly as you had hoped. Does that make sense? Are any of you guys going through that? I know that's kind of specific. It's like, for those of you who are already with this person and committed to this person, it could be that whatever the situation is with the ex, it feels like it's dragging on your relationship currently and it's preventing the two of you from taking some sort of next step that you're wanting to take within the connection. So you might be dealing with that as an ongoing issue, but I feel like it is moving forward. It's just been moving a little bit slower than what you would hope, okay? So let's look at you, Leo. Let's look at what's going on for you, please. Eight of Wands, good. Lots of communication, lots of talking. You're wanting to move past the situation. So that's good. Tell me more, please. Tell me more about what's going on for Leo. Seven of Cups. Yeah, I think you're a little bit confused about how to handle this. And again, I, I don't know. I just feel like you're good, but there's something going on with your ex where you're like, Okay, we need to talk about this because I'm not really sure where we stand with this situation right now. Tell me more, please. The Knight of Swords, you just want to move forward. I mean, a lot of your energy here, Leo, is just about you wanting to move past the situation. And I don't think it's that your person, like they don't even want to be stuck in this situation with their ex, for example. But sometimes you can't help it. If they have to deal with it, they have to deal with it. It might not be fast moving, but I think they're trying the best that they can. And I see your urgency here, by the way, of wanting to fix this and move past it with that Eight of Wands and that Knight of Swords. I can feel you're like, come on, let's just deal with this. Let's just like move on. But sometimes you can't rush things. And I think um, this is not a tarot thing, but 
patience might be a little bit required here, Leo, with this situation. I know it's annoying, but it just feels like a situation that is going to resolve, but it's just gonna take longer than it needs to. Okay, what else? Ooh. What is that? Hold on, we've got cards flying out here, Leo. One second, what have we got here? We had a random card jumping out. Okay, I'm glad that I went and picked that up. So that's actually really good, you guys. Um, Eight of Cups jumping out when I was talking about the frustration with this situation. I honestly just feel like that's a positive indicator that the two of you are gonna be able to get back on track you are going to have a beautiful loving connection here the frustration that you've been feeling i don't think it's going to be going on forever and that's where i think you just have to be a little bit patient okay so what is leo feeling what is leo feeling right now temperance good it kind of feels like things are coming into balance so i feel like right now maybe there's something happening at this point in time that's allowing you to see a little bit of hope on the horizon, right? Where you're like, okay, we've kind of been in this sticky situation, but it finally feels like things are starting to balance out. And I feel like with the temperance card, this is about patience. And I feel like patience will pay off here. What else is Leo feeling? The Empress, yeah, you love this person, okay? Like I said, whatever this issue is, I don't think it's between you and your person. It feels like something external. Tell me more, please tell me more. And then the hanged man, okay? So basically what I can see here is that you're trying to look at the situation from different perspectives. You're definitely not trying to rush things if you're in the hanged man energy. I really just think you just need to be patient. Like emotionally, you just need to find a way to experience patience within this situation because you can't control it. Like I said, the dynamic that we're talking about is your person and an ex or your person and some other situation that they're dealing with. It's not even directly about you. Whatever's happening over there, it's indirectly affecting you, but you don't have a say in how it plays out. So I feel like there's almost a little bit of a message here where it's like, give up control of what, or stop trying to control what you can't control and find peace in that, right? Because you can be frustrated and angry about the situation, which is totally valid, you know? You feel how you feel, but, if you can't change anything, you know, you kind of need to ask yourself, so what approach can I take to feel okay with this situation and give it a little bit more time to unfold? That's where I think you kind of have to go into that hanged man energy where it's more about just seeing the situation differently, maybe shifting your mindset that allows you to be a little bit more patient with this situation, okay? Again, this is kind of a specific message, you guys. If it's not for you, no worries. Like if the messages don't fit, it's not your message today. So just take it or leave it depending on where you're at. So what actions are Leo taking? What actions are Leo taking right now? Good. I think it's about focusing on yourself. King of Wands, what actions are you taking? Focusing on your own life. If your person's dealing with some sort of issue, maybe you've gotten really like invested in it and it's causing you stress. Perhaps you need to pull it back a little bit and like focus on your own life right now and let your person figure out whatever that situation is, okay? Uh, what other actions are Leo taking right now? Three of Pentacles, good. You guys are working through this. I think you're making it clear to your person, look, I got your back, right? You can see that. I got your back. I'm here for you if you need anything. Um, but I also like don't wanna meddle. I don't wanna jump in where I'm not needed. I just want you to know I'm here if you need anything, but I'm kind of just like stepping back, doing my own thing. You sort this out and you let me know once you've sorted it out, okay? What other actions are Leo taking right now? Eight of Pentacles, good, yeah. I think that honestly what I'm picking up on here is you putting your time and your attention and your energy onto your own projects and like you have to let me know if this connects with you leo but i just feel like you've been getting so caught up in your person's situation with your with their ex or your person's situation with their work and you're getting so tied up in it that it's causing you stress and confusion but i think the best thing that you could do for yourself right now is focus on you focus on living your best life let your person deal with whatever the issue is let them know you're there to support them but maybe just throw yourself into something that you're passionate about maybe you i don't know i'm looking at the king of wands and the eight of pentacles and it's like maybe the, there's some sort of passion project that you want to start something that you want to create but I feel like your action energy here is suggesting that you need to divert your attention to something that makes you feel passionate, something that you can work on right now so that you're not focused so much on this like frustrating situation that your person is dealing with. Does that make sense? Okay. 
So what is the potential outcome here? What is the potential outcome in this situation, please? Oh, what is the potential outcome here? Let's see. Oh, three of swords. Okay, very interesting. Tell me more about the potential outcome. My goodness. Tell me more about the potential outcome here. Let's see. The star. Okay. Good. This is good. Let's get one more, you guys. I want to see the full picture here. And then the two of wands. Okay. So what I see here in the outcome is moving past this frustrating situation. Okay. So with the three of swords, I can see it's been like heartbreaking. It's been frustrating. But the star card represents healing, hope, and optimism. It represents moving forward. So I do see in the outcome here, the two of you are able to move past some sort of emotionally challenging situation and to really start planning for the future with that two of wands. So it's like, I also feel the three of wands is indicating that your person is finally able to release that X, you know? Like with that three of swords, I feel like this could also represent the person who like the ex, right? Your person's ex, the person they broke up with, and then finally being able to like detach from that energy so that your partner is now free of that. And the two of you can get back to the business of really building your relationship and planning for the future and all that good stuff. So I do think things are moving in a, in a productive direction. I don't think they're moving as quickly as you want, but I almost feel like you've become so invested in that situation that it's causing you some confusion and annoyance. So if you're feeling that way, it's about focusing the energy back on you, focusing the attention back on you, doing things that make you happy, letting your partner know that you're here to support them, but not getting too over invested in what kind of drama they've got with their ex because it's not about you really at the end of the day. I think your person is handling it. I think you're gonna get the resolution. It's just taking a little bit more time. So there is gonna be perhaps some patience that's required here. But I do see finally being able to detach from that energy in the outcome and get back to the business of really planning for the future of your connection, okay? All right, so that's what I see here for you today, Leo. A bit of a specific message, but if it resonated with you, please do give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Definitely feel free to head on over to Etsy, check out everything that I've got available on my shop. And of course, you know, I love you guys so much. I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk again very soon. Bye guys.